Hello there, and welcome to Target Boy Plays Pathfinder Adventures, Episode 8. Today we're going to go into the next step of our story with Lem here. It is Trouble in Sandpoint, and this is where things start to get serious. Um, what do we have here? The villain is Irelium, who is tough. Also, Corvus is tough, and the Wrathful Sinspawn are tough. So, let's start it up. Trouble in Sandpoint with Lem, and here we go. Days later, Amiko has disappeared. Pardon me, have, have you seen Miss Kaijutsu? Some of us are growing concerned. It's unlike Amiko to leave without telling anyone. Her mood has been noticeably adiago since the night her father graced us with his presence. I believe it was two days ago that she left to meet her brother. Suto? This is more dire than I expected. He's a lost soul and may have brought danger upon her. If she handles her brother the same way she took care of her father, I'm sure she is well. Nevertheless, she must be found. After a character encounters a Wrathful Sin spawn henchman, roll a 1d6. On a 1, discard the top card of the Blessings deck. I don't like things that make blessings go away. Blessings are important. Okay. Beryllium. Before you act, choose a character at your location to summon and encounter a Wrathful Sin spawn henchman. If undefeated, succeed at a Wisdom or Divine 8 check to move to a random other location. Which means you have to fight a Wrathful Sin spawn, then fight her. Oh, but you can beat her with Arcane. That's not two attacks. Arcane 10 or Combat 14. His Arcane is pretty good, so I may not be in as much trouble as I thought. It's also a good reason to keep my handy-dandy librarian around. I think she's a librarian. Anyway, let's start out here. Corvus is a pain in the neck. If undefeated, after you act, Corvus deals 1d4 acid damage to each character at this location. If defeated, you may immediately attempt to close the location you came from. And the Wrathful Sin spawn. Succeed at a Wisdom 6 check, or the difficulty is increased by 1 for the rest of the turn. Okay, increasing from 9 to 10 is not so bad. Alright, so what do we have for our locations? I want to start with my handy-dandy crossbow. We have a location here that needs a Divine 6 to close, but you take 2 points of damage whenever you run into a Blessing. And there are 3 Blessings in the deck. That's annoying. If you fail a check, discard the top card of your deck. That's no fun. Wisdom or Perception check, 6 to close. In Catacombs of Wrath, you may attempt a Wisdom or Perception 7 to evade a monster. That's nice. Wrathful Sin Spawn to close. Alrighty, let's see. There are a lot of monsters there. Let's go someplace with less monsters. Glassworks or Shrine. Um, Alright, we'll start here. We'll start at the glassworks. Yeah, I think it's entirely possible that I will have a bad time here. But we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll do well. One way to find out. Really? The henchman is on the first card in the deck? Really? That's how this is going to go? All right, well, I can deal with a 10. All right, let's see. Do I want to use my Scorching Ray? Show it to me. Show me the card. Arcane plus 2d6. My Arcane is 10. So that would give me 5.5, 3.5, 3.5, average of 12. I've already got the QR up, so yeah. We'll go with this. Do I want to be cocky? I don't want to be cocky. I'm going to go with a... With, an, with a blessing here. So, 
very likely to make this roll. Yes, take that, Wrathful Sin Spawn. And we'll try to recharge this. Not super likely, but... Oh well. I'll get it back later. And I don't lose a blessing. Okay. Well, at least now I can take my time on the others. Um, yeah, close it. Wow, my wisdom stinks. Um, alright, we'll use a blessing. Please make it, please make it, please make it. Yes! Haha, <laughs> alright. Anything good that might have been there is now gone. But, oh well. Lots of blessings. Wow, really? I discarded that many cards? Wait, how did the burglar and the dilettante get in my discard pile? I don't understand. Future Mike here. Looks like I forgot that whenever you fail a challenge in this, uh, one of your cards goes into the discard pile. So you can see here, those two cards getting pulled away. Oh well. Alright, let's see. Do I want to go to the place with all the monsters? No, I want to get some stuff. So, I'm going to come up here. Where I'll take a ton of damage from blessings, but well. Let's see what we get. A slashing blade. Hey, but I have these tools. Haha. <laughs> we'll discard and automatically defeat it. And we'll just discard those. I'm going to use my cure. Hopefully that will get some useful cards back into the deck. We'll discard the cure. And go to the next turn, because we have all kinds of stuff. Excellent. Got good spells. Alright, what do we got? Ooh. Ooh. 1d4 new weapons. And this is a dexterity. Okay, anybody can give me a bonus to dexterity. Non-combat wisdom. Non-combat constitution. Or a spell. Alright, we'll go with the wisdom one. I kind of want to get this. Alright, let's see what I get. Big numbers, big numbers. Oh. Small numbers. Oh well. Anything I can use? Sword or short bow? Not awesome. We'll just discard those. Alright. Amiko! There she is, right there! That, that ends this adventure. Found her! Okay, I guess I didn't. What does she do? Banish to add 1d10 to your check. That's pretty awesome. But I have to banish her to do it. Alright, we're going to hold on to her. Like, use her to fight the bad guy. Oh, blessing! Ouch! Blessings, you hurt me. Alright. So we'll discard her. We'll discard this blessing. We automatically get the Blessing of the Gods. Alright, so I'll end the turn, and I'll use my special ability to trade Mirror Image for my Cure. Then cast the Cure and hope, because there's an awful lot of cards in that discard pile. Whoa, my deck is super thin! How did that happen? Oh man. I'm gonna have to do, do it again next turn. Alright, don't hit me with a blessing. Oh, it's a blessing! Ah, oh, you hurt. You hurt. Okay, let's hope I get this. 
All right, this has become a problem now. All right, at least I have aid. So I can use the aid to get my cure back. I can cast that right off the bat. Big numbers, come on. You're killing me. You're killing me. Alright, gotta use the spyglass. Let me see my top two cards. Neither one of these is is a thing that I want. But a blessing will kill me. And I've got enough blessings that I should be able to take him. And I've still got my handy dandy crossbow, so I'll leave them the way they are. And we'll take on Corvus. We'll just we'll reveal this and we'll use one of these. Non-combat constitution or non-combat charisma. I'll go constitution. Let's hope I get it. Yes, got it. <clears throat> Close the location. I will do the skill check. Because if I fail, I have time. Hmm, 50-50 chance. Do I want to try it? 50-50? The next card's a blessing. Uh. Okay, got it closed. I'm in a bad way. Alright, oh, Miko's back. That's nice. And the Scorching Ray, which means I can get rid of the Scorching Ray to get my cure. Come on, come on, three or four. Oh, no, you're killing me! Killing me! You're literally killing Lem. Okay, the place with all the monsters, and here I am, with a loot. Alright, well... Gotta use the blessing. Alrighty, let's see what I can do next turn. At least I have plenty of time. What I need right now is a spell, and I don't have one. My deck is super thin. I don't like this at all. Oh! Oh, and there she is. Alright, let's see if I can do this. You dare to intrude upon the Mother's holy work? A demonling? I fear you are the intruder. You have no place in Sandpoint. Your slaughter will feed the rune well just as Suto's did. She slashes her own wrist, dripping blood into the rune well. From the well, a sin spawn forms and attacks. Okay. So, what do I have that can help me? Well, yeah, I've got a, I don't have any way to evade her. I'll encounter. All right. All right. Gotta fight the sin spawn. Yeah, encounter. So, maybe I'll get lucky. Not worth spending. Oh, yes! He stays at nine. Alright, so, what have I got? I've got two blessings. I've got a Miko, and I've got my heavy crossbow. So, if I use the crossbow, and I use a blessing, that gives me very good odds. 9, average of like 16. Alright, down he goes. If I lose a blessing, no big deal. Because I've got all the time in the world, and if I win this, I win. Alright, so, do I want to use Amiko? Now if I use this blessing... Ooh, that gives me 3 dice. Awesome. 
So I've pro I think I've got this. I only need a 10. I'm gonna go for it. 13. She goes down. And that was really, really fast. Yet again, I have you to thank. It was only a matter of time before that creature murdered me as it did my brother. She has a really rough family life. It wasn't time for your song to end, Mrs. Kaijasu. Why was Suto holding you captive? He wanted me to join his crusade against the people of Sandpoint. When I refused, he took me captive and imprisoned me underneath the glassworks. I didn't see you when I was there. Before he locked me away, he alluded to blackmailing our father for someone named Nulia. If what he said is true, my father helped the goblins infiltrate Sandpoint. Given what little I know about your father, it does not seem too distant a possibility. Did Suto happen to say where this Nulia has set up shop? I think he said something like Thistle something. I know it was a goblin name. Thistletop. Victory! Woohoo! I didn't get much stuff, though. I got some blessings, and that was all. Don't know why I didn't get any gold for that. Oh well. Ooh! Ooh! I can increase my hand size? Okay. Now, my Bardic performance, since I'm doing this solo, increase helping Bardic performance is not useful. Actually, increasing my hand size would be more of a problem than a help. So, I think weapon proficiency, so that I can use all those pretty, pretty bows I've been seeing, would be nice. So, we'll take that. We'll take some weapon proficiency. Alrighty, and let's take a look at this pretty bow. Alright, this only gives plus a d6. So, it's not better than my heavy crossbow, and the bastard sword is worthless to me. As for blessings, blessings of the god can go. Iomide gives non-combat charisma. Now, is there anything here that's useless to me? Non-combat wisdom. Non-combat constitution. Spell check. Non-combat intelligence. Combat strength. Yeah, I'm not going to be making combat strength checks, so forget that. Okay, well, there was some useful stuff. Anyway, that completes that in record time, I believe. Thank you for watching this episode of Target Boy Plays Pathfinder Adventures. Um, next time we'll be moving along and searching for Thistletop. And so I will talk to you then and have a good one.